Okay, we're going to create a collage, and I'm going to show you how to kind of get started with uh, maybe a folder, and then also um, playing a little bit with uh, the dimension. So the first thing you probably should do is set up some type of folder. So in this folder, I've got a bunch of pictures that I'm going to use uh, in here. So you can create a folder, and then maybe just organize your your files. Uh, I've got more images than I need in here, which is fine, and then I can kind of cut down later. Um, once you have everything organized, then you can jump into Photoshop Elements, and if you do a File New uh, and do from a blank file, uh, you can always choose from a number of different, I mean, you, inside their scrapbooking dimensions you can set up. Uh, so there's all kinds of um, dimensions and the main thing is you want to know what your output is what are you going to print it to. Um, for this I'm just going to go for a landscape and I'm going to just do about 10 uh, inches by 7.5 um, just because those work pretty good as far as printing off on a printer that has um, that doesn't bleed out to the edge so I'm going to stick with that and then for my resolution you can stick with 300 I'm going to take mine down just a little bit uh, which should be fine just uh, so that my computer runs a little bit faster. The higher the resolution, the better the quality, but also it might slow down your computer a little bit. So if you're having an issue, take it down. So I'll go ahead and click OK. This will give me uh, my um, layout. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just play with some backgrounds. Uh, you can grab images from the internet, uh, but you can also come up uh, and inside of Elements there's some filters. And the way I like to start is just go into filters, do render and clouds, just to get in a base color. And how that starts off with is whatever these two colors are down here, that's uh, what those will come out. So if I don't want those colors, I can click in here and choose maybe a green instead, and click OK. And I could click on that other one below and choose a black to get me going. And then I just go back and go to filter render and clouds to kind of play with some of those things. Once you get in a base color then you just kind of keep going into there. Uh, maybe I want to play with a little bit with lighting effects uh, and I mean there's a ton inside here that you can really uh, play with and tweak with and sometimes it's just a matter of just getting in here and playing a little bit. If you want to click on the filter gallery uh, you can also come into the filter gallery and it'll kind of show you what types of effects, click on the different things. Um, when you like one, uh, then you go ahead and apply it. So say I like uh, this effect right here, or one of these, uh, then you just click OK. And you can also adjust, a lot of these have different um, aspects of them where you can even change them even more. So uh, I mean, you can get lost in these uh, and spend quite a bit of time in there where you just click OK. Uh, it'll apply. If you don't like it, uh, just click on the undo button. Um, but you may want to spend a little bit of time just kind of uh, just clicking on each one of these to see what they do. Um, and you can get some pretty cool uh, results uh, out of here. So that's that's one way to um, create some type of a background. Uh, and like I said, you can use images instead too.